Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss about blob service of a storage account. In this topic, we will understand the concept and we will also see how to deploy this. If you want to go through the complete course, you can purchase these courses from my website that is techlearning.spy.com. All the information is given in the description. If you want to check out the course content, just click on course and click on preview. So left hand side, you can see all of the course contents. Other than individual courses, course packages are also available where you can find out the decent discount on these courses. Let's get back to our topic. Now come to overview and come and focus on this part, containers. So this is also known as the blob service. Whenever you are dealing with unstructured data, okay, or bulk data, you can see the uh, description here, scalable, cost-effective storage for unstructured data. Unstructured data means uh, like your log files, like uh, collection of your movies, collection of your songs, random files where JPG files are there, PPTs are there. Randomly, if you have something, unstructured data, you can store it inside your container. And this is known as a blob service, fine. So go ahead and click on container. So the first thing it will ask me to create a container here. Container as the name suggests, it contain your data. Okay. So I'm going to create a container and this time the name is demo one. And the public access label I have selected as a private as of now. So there are two more access, but right now I have created it with the private, no anonymous access. So this is my public access level. If somebody is trying to access from the public, so right now I have made it private so nobody can access this container. So go ahead and click on create now. You can create multiple container here. There is no limitation. Okay. So let's say this is my container. Click on it and upload your data. So select on this one. And uh, let's say you are storing this file, selecting this file and click on open. So this is a blob service. This word uh, sound very heavy blob service. Okay. But it's a very simple concept. Blob stand for binary large object, binary large object blob. So generally what we say that suppose I'm uploading a file. So I'm saying, okay, uploading a file, but what is written here? Upload a blob inside this demo one container, upload a blob. So generally the file is known as blob here. Any object will be known as a blob here. So I can say that I am uploading a blob instead of I'm uploading a file. I can say I'm uploading a blob here. So all these files are known as the blob here. So what is blob? Binary large object. This is an object and it is a binary large object here. Correct. That's all. This is the meaning of your blob, blob service. Fine. So now I have uploaded this one. And if you see this file, open this file here, you will get one URL for this. As I told you that you can access uh, data inside your storage account. Uh, from the internet friendly protocol. So you can see this is HTTPS protocol. If I try to access this file from the public in, uh, environment, so right now it is throwing me the error message. Why? Because when I created this container, when I created this container demo one, I had taken the access level as a private. So that is the reason I'm not able to access it. There are two more options. It says blob. If I just want to give permission to this blob and I want to make it visible from the public so I can just give access to one blob or if you want to give access to whole container. So you can see container anonymous read access for container and blob. So if I give access at the container level, so all of the blob which is there inside this container demo one will be accessed publicly. Okay. So right now I have given, I have selected this option container at the container level. I have given the access, go ahead. And if you come here and hit it again, 
okay so you can see that you can access your file here okay via the internet friendly protocol that is https one thing this is one thing upload you already know now uh, there are a lot of options has been uh, given here suppose i'm going to upload one more file here click on upload and uh, select any file let's say i'm selecting the file Uh, this one version and open and uh, there is one option overwrite a file already exist you know already what is this click on advance in advance there are a lot of options has been given here with the blob upload so let's focus here on the blob type so there are three kind of blob type here block blob page blob and append blob when i select a block blob there is a block size here you can see different sizes has been mentioned here so generally what happens when you are uploading any object <clears throat> suppose the object size is 5 gb so what will happen that object will be divided into the block first and what will be the size of one block the size of one block is like 4 mb so in the form of block it is going to upload one by one first first block is going to upload then second then third so in the form of block it is going to upload inside your azure infrastructure let's say you are trying to upload a very uh, big virtual hard disk vhd okay and the size of vhd generally very high so what option we have given the page block here so even you can read out this upload.vhd file as a page block recommended so whenever you are trying to upload a vhd file virtual hard disk then that time we are supposed to use the page block so what will happen your size of the virtual hard disk is going to divide it into the pages okay and these pages are going to upload simultaneously together they will try to be uploaded so that this upload process can be done fast otherwise it will take very long time third is like your append blob if you want to append something on the data which is already there so you can select the append blob option here okay right now i am going to select this blog blob and the size is default 4 mb <clears throat> the next is the access tier so there are three access tier here hot cool and archive so if you are going to access this file very frequently okay in that case azure recommend you to access the to select the hot access tier if you are going to use this file like uh, less frequently like once in one month or once in 15 days once in two month in that case you go and select this cool access tier but if you just want to store this file and uh, like once in a year you need it that time you go and select the archive access tier now why this logic has been set in this way that uh, if you are accessing frequently then go with hot less frequently go with cool if once in a while kind of scenario you should go with the archive so this thing we will discuss separately because this is related to the cost and this is very very important uh, concept here and it make a very huge impact on the costing so as of now this much explanation is enough we are going to cover up this part in detail and that time this will clear in your mind so you can see that hot in bracket inferred is also written why it is written like this so what happened when i created this storage account on a storage account label also it asked me to set the access tier that time it took by default it took the hot access tier at the storage account label now when i'm uploading a new blob here okay so because on a storage account already hot access tier has been set so here it is saying hot in bracket inferred so by default this is actually going to select if i don't select anything here on the access tier this is the default setting and in bracket it is written as inferred it means on your storage account hot access tier has been set so that is the reason i have also taken hot here on this blob label it is just like a inherited here what was there on your storage account got inherited to your blob as well but instead of this if you want to change this one you can change it anytime fine so if you want to create any folder 
let's say you are trying to upload this file but you want to upload it inside any directory so just type directory here and all of your data will be in encrypted go ahead click on upload so you can see one directory has been created inside that there is one file that is version.txt okay so this is how it works now if you click on this file and go to edit so you can do the editing as well here let's say this is version 1 and uh, you want to type version 2 version 3 and so on you can do the editing also so what i will do now let's not do it discard this one so I am going to take a snapshot of this one. So create a snapshot. So what happens in case of a snapshot, it has taken a photograph of this file at this particular moment. Okay, so what happened in that moment, suppose when we take a snap, so what happens? The moment get captured. So whatever is there in this file at this moment has been captured in this snapshot. Suppose someone go and do some editing on this file. version 2 version 3 and then save it okay now it has been saved if you open it once again go to edit these are the new content but you want to get the old content now suppose by mistake it happened now you want to restore it to the old content so you have already taken the snapshot of the old content so what you can do simply you can restore it from the old snapshot so select this one then click on view snapshot you can see one snapshot is already taken here select this one and click on promote a snapshot if you want to download this snapshot that also you can do so when you do the download you can see the content here version one is written okay now i want to restore this one go here and click on promote snapshot so successfully promoted blob snaps snapshot go here and see the content now you will see that your data has been stored or basically restored from your snapshot so what was there when i took this snapshot only version one was written okay so this is how you can use the snapshot also and uh, let's say you want to protect this file from the accidental delete right now when you select this file this delete option is enabled and if i click on it this file will be deleted right suppose you want to protect this file from accidental delete so what you can do you can select this file and click on acquire lease and click on it and acquire the lease so once you acquire the lease what will happen if you select this file you will see that this delete option is grayed out you cannot delete this file nobody can delete actually so if someone want to delete what we have to do we have to select this file and then we have to go into the break lease here so click on break lease and click on ok lease has been broken now you select this file and you can see that delete option has been enabled once again and you can go ahead and delete it fine so these are the things what you can perform uh, with your blob service and uh, uh, if you see that the overall conclusion i don't want to make it complicated just keep few things in your mind one thing is that when you create a storage account you have option of this container this is also known as the blob storage or the blob service when you open this container it will ask you to create a container once container is created you can upload your data inside this container once you upload this data inside your container in the backend all these thing happens right so based on the replication method what you have chosen about these settings these are very simple simple options if you can play with this uh, option you will also get to know what is the meaning of all this thing already i have explained you but these are very simple things so don't get complicated by these options here these are very simple thing the main idea is that we create a container and we upload the data that's all 
rest of the things you can manage by yourself fine so this is your blob service so <clears throat> today we understood about a storage account what is storage account what are the different settings and their application methods are available and then we also discussed about the blob service so that's all for today and uh, tomorrow we will continue the same topic of the storage and there are a lot of things need to be covered in this okay if you have any question please let me know